Hi, it's uh, Kevin Maker from Focus Why, one of our partner interviews here. Uh, th thank you to Rate Gain and in particular to Apurva Chamaria. You're the Chief Revenue Officer at Rate Gain. So you've got an interesting kind of thoughts around this idea of smart distribution. So tell us kind of broadly what smart distribution is, first of all, please. So if you think about the industry, uh, you know, it started with individual hotels, then we started seeing chain hotels, then OTS came up. And then you had channel managers and switch providers distributing availability rate and inventory mm -hmm. from hotels to online travel agents and brand sites. Mm -hmm. uh, and this problem was solved, you would think, 20 years ago, 10 years ago. But since then, there has been zero innovation. Mm -hmm. And uh, most of the distribution providers, distribution technology providers, really, really do a good job of moving availability rates and inventory mm -hmm. from hotel CRS systems to online travel agencies. Mm -hmm but they don't add any value to the process. These are pretty much what we call dump pipes. And okay. what we are now hearing from online travel agencies and hotel chains is, hey, distribution is becoming complex. We are, our business is globalizing. Mm -hmm. You're more likely to see travelers who have never traveled abroad, millennial travelers now coming into the sphere and who really want to travel a lot. So the demand, I might be a US hotel chain, but the demand could come from Timbuktu, Bangladesh, I could get a traveler from there. So how do I distribute my product globally? I don't even know which are the source markets, which are the top demand partners there, and then how do I contract with them? Right now, I don't have any intelligence on this. So for me to discover how much demand can I get from this OTA, which is coming up in Afghanistan, find out that OTA contract is a five to eight month process. And my distribution technology doesn't help me. Once okay. I do everything, it helps me distribute. Okay. Well, it's interesting you said that there hasn't been any innovation for years. Why is that? I mean, is it laziness? Is it just the market forces? Why? I, I think it's a comfort with the status quo. And the hotels and OTAs typically had no challenge. Now you have all the hospitality companies getting challenged by digital hotels, asset light hotels like Oyo. Mm -hmm. uh, OTAs are getting challenged because loyalty companies are becoming OTAs. Mm -hmm. Metas are becoming OTAs. Google is coming up. I read a very interesting article on Focus Right. So everybody is trying to be every, everybody else. So <laughs> <laughs> exactly, it's a perfect storm. Okay. And whenever there is a storm, it forces all the players to innovate and think beyond the obvious. Yeah, and move on from what was exactly, the exactly. Back. Okay. So what, what are your customers telling you? And second point, really, I mean, what are they asking of you now to provide? So, so what our customers are saying is, hey, I'm a hotel chain in say Indonesia or uh, Mexico and I would love to get demand from Dubai. Mm -hmm. And I don't know which are the top OTAs. And I don't have a massive team which will allow me to find OTAs in all these 191 countries or wholesalers and then enter into contract negotiation. Can you as a distribution provider do this seamlessly for me? So identifying new demand, uh, helping do online contracting rather than a lot of people doing manual contracting, uh, enabling our product to seamlessly within 48 hours get distributed and then actually telling us, are we getting enough demand from them versus our competitive set or not? Okay. So that's what they are telling. And we are calling this whole phenomena smart distribution. Yeah. And uh, uh, we are very privileged to get an opportunity to build this out with our customers. Okay. And you know, where does it all kind of go next? What's, you know, what's the next phase for smart distribution, do you think? So our, our vision, at least at RateGain, is to enable frictionless distribution for 50% of global travel. Which means, yeah. So, and we always like to think if we can do that, that would be something really, really cool to achieve. Okay, right, Apurva, thank you very much for making. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you, Kevin.